and welcome to Macos and Screencast.com. I know, long time no see, but I've been busy doing client work. Um, that's why I have a special episode for you this time. Um, I've been busy working on a tutorial, quick tour kind of screencast for a client. They are called Audonica. Audonica makes some very, very, very interesting audio input devices. For example, a keyboard, sort of, an iPhone or iPad app, and they wanted me to do a quick tour screencast of their um, iPhone app or iPad app. Yeah, you can look up the screencast at soundprisonhowto.com, where you can find also a lot of other screencast kind of um, videos. Uh, it, that is a site especially built for Sound Prism users, um, where they can find tutorials about Sound Prism, Sound Prism Pro, Sound Prism Free, I think it's called. Yeah, um, I just wanted to show you how screencasts look like when um, I'm doing clients' work. I hope you still enjoy this special episode this time. Um, take care, until next time, bye. This is a quick introductory tour through Sound Prism. Sound Prism is an incredibly easy way to compose great music, a tool that enables anyone to express emotions musically. The interface is easy to understand. The main grid lets you play notes. It is divided into two parts, the chords and bass section. The chords section acts much like a keyboard. Lower notes are left, higher notes are right. The bass section is on the right and plays, as the name implies, bass notes. Each line has either a bright or darker color. Playing only on brighter lines creates happy sounding melodies Whereas playing on darker ones makes the melodies sound sad, or major and minor for that matter. As you can see, when I touch the keyboard, I don't only play one note, rather I play multiple notes at once. This is due to the chord settings in the top row. The three buttons on the right let you play a single note, two notes, or three notes at once. The buttons on the left let you play multiple octaves. When selecting the two note symbol, you can play an additional one octave higher note. Of course, you can combine the two settings to get a more dense and fuller sound. The way the notes are aligned on the grid allows you to play great music without having to study an instrument first. Rather than reading books and practicing for years, all you need to know is motion. What you've just learned is how to play chords. Chords are the most important thing when it comes to playing an instrument musically. Normally, you needed to learn which notes to press additionally to the notes you are playing to get a pleasant result. The result also depends on the current key, which makes playing chords even more complicated. Some prism removes this complication and helps you understand notes, chords, keys, cadences and so forth. The Sound Prism keyboard is built in a way that chords are picked automatically. Playing with Sound Prism isn't less musical though. By turning on display pitch labels, Sound Prism reveals its secret note layout. You could transfer played chords manually or activate MIDI and send standard MIDI signals using Core MIDI. This way you are able to incorporate Sound Prism in a bigger setup with GarageBand, Logic or a hardware synthesizer. Please note however. MIDI support is only available in Sound Prism Pro. The current key can be chosen from the left ribbon. A swipe up moves to another key, 
is swiped down to the previous one accordingly. Note how the color changes. The middle line shows the current key, in our case C major. If you're not interested in music theory, you don't have to know all these things. For musicians, however, this information is vital. The only thing that matters to not yet musicians is that a different color influences the notes that are available. The lower ribbon is for switching to a higher set of notes, making even more notes available to you. The first four buttons on the bottom let you choose a different sound. Four basic sounds are built into Sound Prism, so you can easily select one that fits your current mood. The hand symbol to the right of the instruments means hold. When activated, a selected chord will play until a different one is played. Deactivating hold releases the notes. <music> Lastly, to record a performance, open settings and enable recording. This will record your performance to an audio file that you can send via email to friends and family. Setting up MIDI can also be done from the home menu. For more in-depth tutorials visit soundprismhowto.com or the Odonica homepage. Thanks for watching.